So you want to optimize your Shopify store for SEO, this is the place to be. I'm going to give you four places where you need to edit your metadata, rules of metadata, how to get it done quickly, the tools I use, how to choose your focus keywords, and a few over the shoulder examples so that you can nail your Shopify SEO. Let's get started. Very quickly, in case you don't know, this is what metadata is. So when you search anything on Google, say my favorite game, Skate City, this would here be your title, and this here would be your meta description. So Google doesn't always follow the meta title and meta description that you post when you write that on your site, but generally it does. In this case, let's take a look at what that looks like on the back end. You won't need to know this, but it's good to know, you know for Shopify specifically, but it's good to know in general. So here's the Skate City website, and if you view the source, you can see that there is this description here. So they have your perfect ride worldwide, and then there's also the title, Skate City Game. So Google here has Skate City Game, but they added some additional information. Google's doing this more and more, but if you write good meta titles and meta descriptions, typically they will take your recommendations. So without further ado, let's talk about the four places where you can edit metadata in Shopify. And in fact, where you should edit metadata in Shopify. So the first one is your homepage. The way to do that is to log into Shopify and then go to online store and preferences. And then this says title and meta description. You want to go ahead and put your meta title or your homepage title and your homepage meta description here. Although the, the character limits are longer than what you might see in normal recommendations, 2021 Moz guidelines say that you probably want to put your meta title between 50 and 60 characters or else it will it will be cut off and that usually your homepage or your general meta descriptions should be less than 160 characters. You can put more, but note that it will probably be cut off. I'm going to try to here's an example of that here. So Ruby Lane they put the website name first and then their afterwards what it is that they sell and then here is the meta description with the ellipses because not all of that information is there so first thing make sure online store preferences boom you have your meta or you have your homepage metadata set up now the next place to do this is your products. So you want to go to products and all products in your store. And then you'll see that the layout is actually somewhat similar. So you're probably accustomed to seeing your regular Shopify content here and the variants below. And then you just click edit website SEO here. And then this is your page title and this is your description. Note that you can edit your URLs, but you probably don't want to because they have been indexed by Google and that is a separate thing where you need to redirect it. So don't be as loosey goosey with that as you might be for your page title and your description. So, so far, homepage meta title, meta title or meta data, metadata for all of your products, and then you want to make sure that the metadata is working and all filled out for every single one of your collection pages. So in this case, we have a two-toned collection and this has a series of products. And if you click edit website SEO, you can see that this hasn't been filled out yet and it needs to be added. So you just add again your title and your description. The last place where you're going to want to make, actually there's two more, the last two places where you're gonna wanna make sure that you add your metadata is your blog posts 
and your pages. It looks like that's not loading that quickly for that website, so I'm just gonna give you another example. We go to online store and we go to pages and then you can click into any one of your pages. So this here, again, same principle, page title, meta description, and you wanna do the same for your blog posts. So you click into it, page title, meta description. So now that you know that, it's the five places to edit meta metadata in Shopify. Homepage, collection pages, product pages, and blog posts and regular pages. So five places. Now some rules about metadata. Again, we want it to be less than 60 characters in the title if you want that to, all that information to be seen. And then the description, typically less than 160 characters. I'm gonna give you a free spreadsheet if you wanna go ahead and use it. And you, basically the best way I have found to track and make sure that your metadata is consistent and well taken care of across your site is to list all of your URLs, to choose your primary keyword or multiple keywords that you want, you can, uh, that you wanna focus for when you're writing that so that you can rank for that in search engines. And then you can add search volume, keyword difficulty, any other metrics that you want to add or any notes and then your title, and then a character count. So this is going to show the length of that. So it shows you right away, are you over or are you under that recommended 60 character count? And then the same for your meta description, boom. So now that you have this sheet, I'm gonna show you how to take all of the pages from your website and go ahead and make sure that all of them are listed so that you have meta titles and meta descriptions. So the tool that I use is actually Screaming Frog and I crawl the website and I'm just going to instead, like I've already done this so that you didn't have to watch it. You put the URL in here you click start and then you can go ahead and take all of your URLs and I'm just gonna copy and paste all of them. Let's see if I can, actually I'm just gonna export them with a different name, internal all Bonnie. So actually you probably wanna take internal crawl data, HTML and you will list all of the or yeah and then list all of the pages html pages because sometimes what can happen is it gets gunked up with javascript files and all that so let's look at that spreadsheet that we created and i am just going to export all of those urls delete that row and then I noticed that there is existing meta titles and existing meta descriptions. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take those and see kind of what it is that we're dealing with. So the meta or the titles and the descriptions pretty need some work. So that's why we're doing this. And a lot of times when you get to working on a new website, you're going to see that things are a bit neglected. But the idea is now that you have this spreadsheet, you have a list of every single one of your URLs. If you're working on a brand new site, you would just use the URLs that you're planning to create. But in this case, we use Screaming Frog to take all of the URLs. And then we took all of our existing titles and meta descriptions. You can go ahead and strategically write out the content that you want or if you want you can use this as a means for sorting by other pages like that are blank for example in this case it looks like the only pages that have blank titles are pages that are probably not indexed by choice or by intention because for example your cart page doesn't need to be indexed and then 
these other pages, for example, the gift card, we might want to use that data sort in, to help us create some new meta descriptions. If you want to continue on with this tutorial and figure out how you might go ahead and take these steps to choose your focus keywords and write some metadata, please go ahead to the next video in this series and we will write some awesome titles and meta descriptions that will get you ranked and get people clicking through to your website. Thank you. See you in the next video.